Hello once again everybody, it is day 8 here of the reveals for Raging Echoes League. This one is another relic and it appears to be up against Grimoire and something else that we don't know yet. I'll play the video and then we'll talk as per. Gotta love the uh, farmer's reference there on this farming relic. Yeah, so we can see the grimoire there, and there's another one that we don't know yet. Okay, overgrown. On choosing this relic, you get the Leprechaun's Vault. It can be used to access the Seed Vault from anywhere in the world. Additionally, you gain the following benefits to farming. Crops never die. When planting a seed, there's a 75% chance for it to not be consumed. And when a seed fully grows, if you still have another seed of the same type, it will harvest the patch for you and replant the seed. So this is a bit different from the previous farming relic that we've had. I'm not gonna lie, I did prefer the previous one, where it was... It had various effects, but one of them was that you plant something, it just instantly grows, which let you go fast, which I feel is what Leagues is all about. This is like, actually, don't worry about that. You don't have to bother with farming this Leagues. We'll do that for you. So it's a bit different. You know, it changes your playstyle in a different way. Rather than modifying your playstyle to improve it, it's basically saying, don't bother. We'll do that for you. So I'm not entirely sure how to feel about this one yet. It's getting into that place where against Grimoire, you know, I'm thinking that the Ancients might just be the better call for non-desert pickers. If you really hate farming, then sure, this is great. It's not bad at all. And the fact that it just AFKs in the background, you know, you can go and do other shit and you're constantly getting farming XP and resources coming in as long as you have seeds stocked up. But you're more likely to have seeds stocked up when there's a 75% chance to save them every time. Another important thing to note is it does go both ways. You get the vault, you can use it to plant a seed, but you can also use it to store seeds. So if you're going on a slayer task where you know there's going to be a bunch of seeds coming up, or if you're pickpocketing master farmers or somewhere that's not right next to a bank, I guess. I don't know. Whatever situation you're in, you can always put those seeds away. So you can basically always pick up seeds rather than going, oh, I'm not going to bother picking that up because it's not worth the inventory space here. So that's one other factor. Overall, I don't think this is anywhere near the power level of Grimoire, but it is really nice and I'm sure lots and lots of people will pick it just so they simply never have to bother with farming. I may be tempted myself. Honestly, it depends what that third one is. I'm more interested about that right now. But I'm sure we'll find out in due course. What are your thoughts on this one anyway? Let me know in the comments. Do you think you'll be picking Overgrown over Grimoire? Or Grimoire over Overgrown? Are you not that fussed about it either and you want to know what the third one is? This is definitely an, an odd one because it doesn't... The only thing it actually does is never die and 75% chance to not be consumed. This is an, a lovely effect, but it's quality of life. It's not actually... Like, it might save you a little bit of time. It saves you some time. It saves you like, I don't know, 8 minutes a day <laughs> depending on how much farming you're doing. <laughs> But it's not that great, right? So the main thing here is that you can put everything in a vault and that your crops never die and you don't consume seeds as often. But I think that most people that pick it will pick it because of this ability, not because of these things, which is a bit backwards. Yeah, I can't figure out how to feel. Let me know how you feel though. And hit that like button and the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future reveals as they come out. Until the next time, that's going to be all from me. Look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.